all right welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to talk about hyperbola we're going to be solving so many questions on hyperbola the first question i'm solving from my workbook is question number 64 and question number 64 said that if this is a hyperbola we should find the center solution now they gave us x minus 1 all squared over 16 minus y minus 2 all squared over 16 is equal to 1 we know a hyperbolic equation that say that x minus h all squared all over 16 all over a squared rather a squared minus y minus k all squared over b squared is equal to 1 now if i compare this to you see that minus h is equal to minus 1 to show that h is equal to 1 and minus k is equal to minus 2 to show that k is equal to 2 so the center the center which is h comma k is equal to 1 comma 2 okay very very simple that's the center so we move to the next question so the next question is um question number 65 and question number 65 said the transverse the transverse of the hyperbola the transverse of the hyperbola x minus 1 all squared over 16 minus y minus 2 all squared over 16 is equal to 1 is solution now they gave us x minus 1 all squared over 16 minus y minus 2 all squared over 16 is equal to 1 okay now write the general uh, equation okay the general equation said x minus h all squared over a squared okay minus y minus k all squared over b squared is equal to 1 in fact you don't even need to write the general formula sorry now the transverse is simply to switch the numerator that's the tra transverse of a hyperbola but the transverse of an ellipse is to switch the denominator so if i see the numerator i'm going to have y minus two in fact to switch everything Can everybody here come here but the reason i'm switching only the denominator the only denominator is that i'm seeing that the denominator are the same so it's just to switch everybody carry this one come here carry this one come here very simple okay so i'm going to have y minus two over 16 all squared minus x minus one over over uh, over 16 all squared is equal to one so this is the transverse please know the difference between this transverse axis and the transverse if it's the transverse axis then it's going to be a which is the square root of 16 which is 4 sorry 2a which is 2 times 4 which is 8 please know the difference between transverse axis and transverse transverse is simply to switch them uh, but the axis is when you are looking for a that kind of thing okay so we move to the next question which is question number for hyperbola okay question number 87 87 so question number 87 said 87 said if if x minus is that four okay x minus four all squared over 16 minus y plus one all squared over 16 is equal to 1 comma then i say then each center each center is solution okay now the same thing is applicable let us write the question the question gave us x minus 4 all squared over 16 minus y plus 1 all squared over 16 is equal to 1 now if we write the general equation for a hyperbola that said that what x minus h all squared over a squared minus y minus k all squared over b squared is equal to one you will now see that if you compare you will see that minus h is equal to minus four therefore h is four and then minus k is equal to one therefore k is equal to minus one then the center which is h comma k is equal to what four comma minus one okay so that is that we go to the next question question number one 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 
question number one 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 question number one 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 okay so now we have for question number one 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 we have that Okay. So question number one one one. Said that. Uh, the conic. The conic x minus four all squared over sixteen minus y plus one all squared over sixteen is equal to one is. Then option A said uh, square square hyperbola. Option option B said rectangular hyperbola. Option C said triangular hyperbola. Then option D said circular hyperbola. Okay, so I'll be leaving this one. This one is very simple. I'll be leaving it for you to find out the answer. Then tell us in the comment section. So one one two, one one two said um, question number one one two. Okay, question number one, one, two said transverse, it should be transverse axis, transverse of, transverse of, transverse of the conic, transverse of the conic, x minus 4, all squared over 9, minus y minus 1, y plus 1 all squared over 16 is equal to 1 okay now the question now is if it is transverse axis they are asking us then we now see that a squared is equal to 9 because if we compare with x minus h all squared over a squared minus y minus k all squared over b squared is equal to 1 we will now see that if it is transverse axis if there is axis in this thing it's going to be a squared is equal to 9 show that a is equal to square root of 9 so square root of 9 which is what 3 so the transverse axis the transverse axis will now be what 2a which is 2 times 3 which is 6 okay but what they are asking us is the transverse okay no they did not put axis so the transverse is simply to switch everybody the transverse is now y plus 1 all squared over 16 minus x minus 4 all squared over 9 is equal to 1. So this is a transverse. Okay, so you don't get confused. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like our video, share, and subscribe. Bye bye.